one of the questions I have is, how do you see society viewing black men? And what type of toll do you think society's view on us uh, is playing with regard to our, our mental health and our own self? You know, I, I, it, it's, it's, we live in a crazy world, man, where, where the, the color of our skin uh, strikes fear in people's hearts. Uh, the, the, the timbre of our voice uh, or the culture in, in our speech uh, scares people a lot of times to no end. Uh, and I feel like we notice it from a very young age. You know, uh, we, it's, it's something, whether, you, uh, whether you've lived in the inner city, uh, middle class, no matter where you started from, uh, we all have an experience, uh, a, a brush with racism in some way, shape, or form uh, by the time where, I think, the, I think the, they say like by the fifth grade or something like that, right? Yeah, third grade, sorry. By the third grade, we, we have our real brush with racism and understanding who we are in society, right? And uh, of course, I think that plays a, a very detrimental part in in our in our makeup. We start to, as he says, it, it starts to become the, it starts to become the norm. So we start to move like that. One of my one of the quotes that I always hear uh, from one of my from one of my friends, uh, who's a, who is one of my favorite quotes from him. It's, uh, you know, we're not necessarily, uh, who we are isn't uh, what we've been through, but how we survive. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, if you think about how we actually survive a lot of these, the tragedy and, and the traumas that we go through, the, the racism, the, the everything that comes with coming from the environments that, we, that uh, we've been stationed to, for, better, for, for lack of a better term, um, it, it kind of creates uh, the, the, it creates exactly who we are. Subconsciously, we get validated uh, physically, you know, as a black man. It's like that old man dingo, like, you know, macho shit, where it's like, you know, the way you look, the way you project your energy, whether literally, physically, or spiritually, or just energetically, that's what you're, um, you know, perceived as. So what happens is men subconsciously is we start to be overt. Like, we forget about all the internal work, and it's about how fresh we look, you know, who we've been with, you know what I'm saying, how we've been with them, who we could be with if we want to, because I could be who, you know what I'm saying, but it's like the programming is to like show, and you know, for me it's like even with art, it's like show not tell, like how do we feel our experience as human beings, you know, beyond even being men and women and black in it, we are human beings, like, <laughs> We are spiritual, you know, essences, you know, existing through this human experience in this world. And there's so much regulation and restriction on just being. So when, you know, and, for, and I'll speak personally, like when I had the opportunity to have the resources to, you know, live the life I always wanted to live, I was like, I'm, it goes back to the back door reference we heard earlier. There's places I won't go just based off my conditioning. There's things I won't experience just based off of my habit. There's people I will never talk to just based off of pattern. So it's like no matter how much I expand in a societal term of success or you know how many women I could get or this or that, like you could be with 300 women, but could you sustain like a partnership? Could you create a family? Could you protect a family? Do you have the habits and patterns and discipline and I guess the memory, because you've done the work to, to create the choices to, 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 to fall back on that. And when I think about that myself, I realize, damn, like I'm putting so much effort into the wrong things. I'm showing I'm not doing, you know what I'm saying? And not for people, but for myself. Like, how do I reprogram myself to really understand that it's not about living up to what it, what it, what it has to be or what it looks like, but really tapping into that, that identity and not just identity in the sense of black. We're, we're from Africa. That's a whole nother level of the disconnect that doesn't get talked about a lot. You know, so it's like when we look at the spaces where I go back to being valid, black men are, are validated physically in, it, through music, through, through film, through TV, through sports. But like, when do you, when do we get to be emotional? And not emotional in the sense of spewing emotion with no intention, but when do we get to process all the trauma we've experienced for over 400 years? 
We used to watch our women get taken from us. You know what I'm saying? And had to deal with the, you know, the effect of that. So whether it's a kid or just the fact that your woman was taken, that over, so, so there's now there's a disconnect between black men and black women. We, we, we might look at our women as less than because of something that happened 300 years ago. But it's in our hearts and that, that might be the, the root of, of the rap music we might hear for the people who are less, in, you know, le less aware or less intentional with their words. But that hate or that disconnect or that misunderstanding, as much as I love hip hop, I love hip hop. <laughs> <clears throat> but <laughs> I just be thinking like when you hear certain songs, as much as I'm vibing, I'm like, damn, but why you have to say that? But why you have to do that? Like, I can't resonate with, but I like this part. This part is like, ah, <laughs> damn, but why? And I'm like, he's not knowing. You know what I'm saying? And not on a judge, it's like, I didn't know for so long, and then you know. You either meet a woman who's like, nah, respect me. <laughs> like, I'm demanding respect. And not on a judgment level, but on a, like, you should, like, it's a reflection thing. Like, like see yourself and me. Like, this is how we communicate. This is how we operate. This is how we expand. This is how we interact. We have to know how to be with each other, but I think it goes back to creating spaces for us, this. <laughs> this man right here, us right here, you, this. This is these spaces where we get to just talk, process, share, communicate, and expand. I guarantee we all even here thinking about something that somebody said, and it may be small or big to you, but it doesn't matter, we have space to do it. And this space ain't you, you know what I'm saying? It, we in America, and I said, we, you gotta buy your freedom in America. So, so be, be aware of your space and time. Value your space and time. Like, I used to say, uh, choices are my currency when I was broke, because that was, that was valid. Like, choices were my currency. But like, even on the other side, currency still can't become my choices. I didn't understand how profound it was to know that when I had to know it. But even to the point now where currency can be my choices, I could do it because I can, not because I chose to or choose, I just can't. And the consequence isn't there, because I can take care of that too. <laughs> but what does that do to you on a, on a, 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 a awareness level, on a consciousness level? You're, you're diluting your frequency. You're not holding yourself accountable for your life. Now you're, 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 you're falling back on what you know is, or what you think is tangible. And now you've completely eliminated the spirit. You completely eliminated God. Now your intellect is your is your your mechanism. Now your experience, it, nah, <laughs> it gotta it gotta stay rooted in what we know in that spirit. When we ask these questions, we think about the negative reinforcement stuff, right? Like we have all this trauma, all this trauma, but it's also important to call to attention like the positive reinforcement stuff. Yeah. Right? What? The black businesses that are succeeding or trying to. Talk about it. Right? Yeah. The creators that are actually trying to deliver right. something yeah. to us. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and it goes both ways. You have to show your support and that positive affirmation Absolutely. to us. Right? Um, and that reprograms you. Right? That's right. right. Like, and the thing that I've been you know, so excited about, blessed with, is to be a part of this. I mean, the black experience. Yes. Right? Because yes. we knock down those walls and go through those walls. And we, you know, it's everything surmountable, right? Like we can actually do, and more often than not, do better than others. So some of this is like, we wait long enough, <laughs> right? Like we're gonna be the ones actually running things and it's already on its way, but I'm so intrigued and inspired by how much positive affirmation yeah. we're finally seeing from black men, other black men, right? Right? Yeah. right? Which really doesn't happen as much and it's just important that that keeps up and continues. Absolutely. And that gets lost in the trend or in the conversation. The bottom line is that we, as we have to band together as black men and support each other. Yeah. We have to have those conversations, these conversations, to ensure that we are supporting each other to go to the next level. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like, as, as the elected official hat that I wear, you know what, anybody ever played Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong back in the day? <laughs> Frogger. Yeah. Everything yeah. trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> everything, plants, <laughs> everything. And so we just have to be watchful. We have to be spiritual. We have to be in contact yes. with our Creator. We have to ask for that spirit of discernment. Yes. We have to ask for our own mental health to be guarded, yeah. right? And I, I'll end it out with with one of my favorites. Socrates said a long time ago. 
if you always do what you've always done, you're going to always get what you've always got. That's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. One more. I got a gearism. That means I made it up. Okay. Right? In order for you to get something that you never had, you got to do something that you never done. We talked about it right. Give it to him. Yeah. Can we get a round of applause for everyone?